All right, so in this video, we'll see about the questions which are asked in previous exams based on the computer networks delay, right? So first, understand the basic philosophy about it. Suppose this is your system, right? And your system wants to send a data packet to another system, right? So we can call it host. So what it does is generate a packet, right? Of some size. Suppose this size is going to be L, right? So the time taken in putting this packet onto the link, or this is link, or you can call it channel, right? So the time taken is taking uh, putting the packet on link is actually called as the transmission time, right? And transmission time, so this is L and the bandwidth is suppose B, right? So L by B. And if you look at the units, so this will be bits and this will be bits per second. So that's how you will multiply the value in seconds, right? So now looking at the questions. Bandwidth is one Mbps and the size is one KB. So one KB means one into ten to the power three. One Mbps means one into ten raised to the power six bits per second, right? So you can put it here. 1 to 10 to the power 6 and when you apply the operation you will get minus 3 which will going to be 1 millisecond right so so this was about transmission time and there are some other time involved so you can look at that here so the time taken from propagating the packet from here to here right so this complete time I'm sorry, so this is getting dirtier. So let me do this. Right? So suppose this packet is going from here to here, right? The time taken is known as the propagation time. Propagation time. Right? So sorry. So the formula for propagation time is going to be dp. We also know that the distance is suppose uh, going to be d, right? And the velocity is v, right? On which on which the rate the data is flowing into the link or channel. So, so this will be the propagation time, right? Uh, my time what happen is Suppose there is a buffer, right? So the data packet is going to be in queue. So this is called as queuing time, right? TQ. So the time taken is TQ. And many times the, there's a maybe there may be a time taken which is as processing time, right? So you can call it as T process. So the total time is and then when then this host receives the packet, it sends the acknowledgement to the sender, right? So the acknowledgement. So these are the basic total time. So if you calculate the total time, this will going to be transmission time plus propagation time plus the acknowledgement time plus the process time and plus the TQ time, right? But these times, uh, process time is very small, so we can assume it as zero, right? The acknowledgement time, sometimes uh, it, it is said in question that you have, you don't, you have neglected and if don't say anything, then you have to assume it, right? So you can add it with TP, right? So this will going to become the equation two into TP. 
what you have to be very careful if the acknowledgement is given as zero then you must have to ignore this right otherwise you can use this formula right, for total time and okay if distance between sender and receiver is 3 km and velocity is 2 into 10 raised to the power 8 millisecond, calculate the propagation time and now we know that dp is going to be d by v. So the sender and receiver 3 km, so 3 into 10 raised to the power 3 upon 2 into 10 raised to the power 8, right? So we will get d value 1.5 and 10 raised to the power minus 5, right? Point, so point 0.15 into 10 raised to the power minus 6, and point 0.15 second microsecond, right? Or you can leave it here. The next question is, if the util link utilization um, yeah, the link utilization is sometimes also known as efficiency, right? So if you have to double the efficiency, then what you have to do is the, formula, the, the transmission time and the total time. So the total time is going to be TT plus 2 into TP, right? As I told you. So you see that the utilization is 50% propagation time is 10 millisecond, right? So 50% means 50 by 100, and the transmission time is we have to calculate the transmission time. Um, simply, you can perform the operation here. So you are going to get dt plus 2tp is equal to 2t and uh, yeah tt is going to be 2 into and the value of tp is given here 10 so you just put it here 20 millisecond right so this is going to be the answer so if the link utilization is 75 percent yeah you have to know that this is also known as efficiency yeah. and the RTT is 10 millisecond. Yeah, now I have to tell you about RTT. Suppose this is your system and this is your friend system, right? So you are sending one packet here and the acknowledgement is coming here. So the complete time is known as RTT. So RTT is basically 2 into the TP propagation time, right? So, so you can look at that here. Now in the questions, so it says that if the link utilization is 75% and the RTT is 10 millisecond, calculate transmission time. So you have to calculate the transmission time. And as you know that the link utilization or efficiency is equal to TT plus TP or total time, which is into TP, so you can write it as dy dt plus rdt, right? Now let's convert this into mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, so you have to calculate this time and so it's, I'm sorry. 75 by 100 is just perform the mathematics here. TT is going to be okay. So we have to calculate the TT, right? So this is going to be 10 and 3, 4, we perform 3 TT plus 30 is equal to 4 TT. And when you take that, so TT is going to be 30 millisecond, right? So this is going to be your answer. Next question is if the message size is L and V, 
is B is bandwidth, and R is RTT, means round trip time, right? Calculate the link utilization on the similar. So basically, it's the same question that we have solved in previous, right? So this problem is a general problem, you can assume it, right? So you know that the link utilization is going to be TT by TT plus 2 into TP. We just have to explore the formula, that's it. So TT is, we know that L by B here. And L by B plus 2 into, you can write it R here, right? Sorry, so you, this will completely going to be R, which is round to time, right? So R. So we say that L by L plus BR, right? By solution, you will going to get this, right? And you can solve this here. Now, one one thing also here you can add is throughput. Sometimes they ask you about throughput. So throughput is basically you just have to multiply bandwidth, right? Efficiency with bandwidth. That's how you can calculate the throughput. Thanks for watching.